Hola! Hey guys, this is White Manga here with a new video. I'm the creator of Apple Black. Uh, and today we're going to be drawing original characters, male hairstyles, in 20 different ways. Please keep in mind that the characters that you will see are characters that um, are original to me. And, uh, you know, some of them may be characters from Apple Black, my series, or some of them may be from a uh, character uh, from comics that, you know, I haven't really drawn or I haven't been developed as much. Uh, for example, the first hairstyle we have from a character called uh, Leroy Gander is uh, for, from a comic I, I, I did. Well, I didn't do the comic, uh, but it is a comic idea that I have, and it's just stuck in my head. And um, I haven't, I've never really had the time to go forward with the comic because I'm too busy with Apple Black. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to go too much with detail on, on, on that comic. It just This video is really going to just focus on the hair. And here we're just having, you know, his uh, cut on the sides and we're just having the hair float uh, at the top. He's kind of like a priest-ish kind of character. There's more to it than that. But yeah, you know, you have a little cut on the sides and your hair, allowing the hair grow at, at uh, allowing the hair kind of blossom at the top. And be a little fluffy, uh, a lot of highlights and stuff like that. Really cool character design. Every one of my faves. Um, moving on, we have a, uh, another character here. For this character, uh, he he wears a crown. Uh, this is a character Roman from Apple Black. Uh, he appears in Apple Black Chapter Nine. Uh, and uh, here, you know, we're gonna put on put on this crown. He's kind of like one of those, you know. King of the King of the Jungle kind of uh, King of the Jungle types. Um, so first, I'm putting this crown, and the crown kind of dictates how the hair flows in a way. So the top of his hair, uh, top of his head, you know, has the hair all flat because it's all, you know, he because he has the crown on. And it kind of di dictates how the um, how the hair flows on his head and stuff like that. At low volume, mostly flat. It's gonna be uh uh hair that you know can flow around a lot it, 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 honestly the, the hair is kind of fun to draw especially if you're drawing a character in action because the you know it's going to be floating all it's going to be all over the place one of the things i do with hairstyles sometimes uh in my comic there are things where uh there are certain things about the hair like the the knots the four knots at the bottom kind of the, uh kind of uh, symbolize uh, a sense of royalty in apple black and that's why he has like four of them some characters just have two that come down uh, come down from the sideburns as we'll see in some other character designs. So here his hair is just you know, really just long black hair um, But you know it has it has more character to it. I add more character to it with the oh, his, his face his facial expression that I add more character character to it with the with the knots and His beard the crown. He also wears like fur um, You know he's kind of like one of those one of those kingy, king of the jungle kind of characters, maybe he hunts stuff, and you know, you guys know him if you read the comic, but as of right now, if you're following the comic, it's kind of difficult to get to know him, and if you follow the comic, you understand exactly what I mean. But um, yeah, so it's really just long black hair, and the thing about hairstyles, even though I'm doing male hairstyles in this in this video, any hairstyle could go for any gender, it, it, it just depends on how you pull it off, anything can go. Uh, this here, for this character, another black character, hasn't debuted yet. Uh, keep in mind that most of these names, especially the ones that haven't debuted in the comic or have, they've not had uh, made any appearances in the comic. The hairstyles and maybe their e even their design and their names and stuff like that are still subject to change. But I just you know thought it'd be cool to put it in this video. Here we have um, Arturo. Yeah, you know, has like two knots on the side, not the same kind of knot uh, as uh, Roman had, but. Um, he has a knot too, and it, it, it's almost like the hairstyle. The hair is halfway doing two different things. So on the side, it's kind of ha it has this little. Um, it's knotted on the side it, twice, and then it flows like all this, you know, luscious, pretty boy kind of thing on the other side. Uh, and one of the things I like about anime, you know, you can really do whatever you want. There are a lot of really weird, kooky hairstyles in anime, and I like to explore. Here we have very simple. It just just one one place. It's kind of like this character. It's kind of like a cyborg-ish kind of character, and um, it just has that little almost a uh, almost like a peacock on this, just on, on a little spot in his head, and that's that's pretty much it. Um, so yeah, that that's that for Rose. Here we have a popular character that ha you can say has debuted in the comic, but not exactly. 
Um, hairstyle is also pretty basic, a low cut, but um, almost like he, 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 his barber is his barber is an artist. It's one of my favorite character designs as well, uh, with the golden with the golden metal nose. Um, you know, it's one of my more uh, original character designs that I really like. Now, just simple hairstyles there, you know. For this video, again, it's one of those observational kind of videos where you just watch me create all sorts of designs for hairstyles. Um, here, we have uh, kind of like, a, uh, you know, kind of like a, an, an afro, afro-ish. Not exactly afro, but, you know, afro-ish. And um, he, he has some sort of a headgear that kind of puts his hair in, in, in place. Uh, this is um, a character, also an Apple Black, but not, it doesn't reside in the same place as the the main characters. He, he resides in um, another country in the, in, in the comic. If you've seen the maps that I've created for the comics, you would you know see other countries on there. And he's from one of them. I'm not going to spoil any more than that. But yeah, we just have, here we have dread-like, spiky black hair uh, for this character. It was actually pretty fun to do. I really like the design and the headgear. You know, inspired by some African themes and stuff like that. Um, here again, just basically, it's almost like uh, just spikes of hair, similar to say Kira from Death Note, or similar to um. Uh, the other guy in Bakuman, I can't remember and remember his name for for the life of me. You can leave in the comments what his, his name actually is, or I, I could Google it. I'm too lazy, but yeah, you know, it's almost like each spike is drawn. There isn't like any flat spot in the hair, and uh, <clears throat> there's a lot of you know a lot of work goes into it. These kind of characters would probably be a pain to draw in uh, in the actual comic where you have to draw the hair over and over again. But it's like just you know spikes that curve down every time, and some curve up. But you know, there's a spike everywhere. Uh, for this hairstyle, I, uh, I, uh, um, uh, eh, he's bald. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. I'm cool with that. Got Pietro. The V. The V is uh, you know, it symbolizes something in the comic. Uh, I'm not gonna go into detail with that as well. Um, you also see it's actually Roman numerals, and you actually see an, another person with uh, three. But I'm not gonna go into any detail with that. No, I'm not spoil anything. We don't want this video to go off track. Here we got a Rastafarian dreadlock kind of guy. But this character is not not necessarily a black character, but uh, and the hair is actually kind of you know orangey, reddish orange kind of. But we have some dreadlocks here. And uh, it's almost like a uh, Medusa bag of snakes. And I, I, I for, for the dreadlocks, I was just trying to put, I uh, try to put like a couple jabs with a pencil at each, um, at each dread, I guess. And the more, it, instead of me actually shading the hair, I just put more, more dashes on it. So the, the, the more you can't see the dread, the more dashes uh, I end up uh, applying. <laughs> Yeah, we got a character that um, uh, we got uh, Jericho here, and this is the character with the uh, Roman numerals for uh, three, same as the uh, Pietro with the uh, with the V for five. But uh, here's one of those characters I uh, have fun. Uh, have fun uh, is one of the fun characters that I haven't had a chance to actually draw in the comic yet because you know it basically hasn't debuted, and you know inspired by. A lot of other manga, uh, aspire, aspire by other manga characters and Johnny Bravo, but there's more to him. There's more of a wild, a very wild uh, side to the character, and he's he's a pretty funny, funny, really funny character. Yeah, similar to the first drawing, where the sides are cut, but here we're going to. It's kind of like he has the you know the hair kind of falls. To the front of his face and has a, a pointy edge. <laughs> I 
and give him some, um, give him a little earpiece there. It's a character where, you know, some characters, you see people draw some characters where the hair kind of covers part of your eyes, or sometimes the whole the whole eye and you know he had you know it's kind of like he has like a upper you know a ponytail that kind of goes to the top of his head a blonde guy glasses very simple basic uh basic easy good guy-ish look it doesn't mean he's a good guy I'm not gonna talk too much about him but um yeah so it's, uh, it's another hairstyle you know blonde hair flowing on the other side pretty boyish but not exactly Here it's like uh, I don't even know what this is. I don't even know what to call this. But is it, you see, this is, you know it's one of the cool things in anime, anime, manga, stuff like that. You can you can get away with a lot. And you know, there's probably somebody in the world in this hairstyle. I just don't know what <laughs> I just don't know what to call it. <laughs> but yeah, and, you know, again, this is one of those observation kind of videos, and I'm just trying to narrate as we go on. Kind of has this circle uh, hairline with. Uh, I don't know, more circles and tips at the edge. Here yeah, we got a little afro. Has the white afro hair. The, the hair is actually white. And uh, this character has actually appeared in the comic, though we haven't seen his hair because he's wearing some headgear. But um, he has some white, puffy, puffy kind of hair. Uh, one of my, one of the more simple hairstyles that I think works very well for the character. Uh, one of my main characters in the comic, and again, you see the the knot at the uh, at his sideburns, kind of symbolizing uh, some a sense of uh, royalty. And you know, you, that's something to think about when you're creating your characters and creating hairstyles. You be thinking, try to think of, you try to think if the hairstyle actually adds to the tradition in the comic, or you know, adds to where the character is from, or anything of that nature. Hair kind of spikes down, also kind of symbolizing some kind of crown, because he's, you know, with the royalty thing. I don't want to talk too much about it. We're just going to focus on the hairstyles for now, and it kind of just goes to the back with a very unique hairline. Now this similar to Roman at the beginning, but here there's going to be a knot at the at the back of his head. You can I don't know. You can call this call this hairstyle the pineapple. I don't know, and you understand in a second. I like to, you know, reiterate that uh, most of these hairstyles are not, you know, you could really use this hairstyles for anybody. It's not just males, but even though I may have a female, uh, a video where I, you know, do uh, do a video like this, but female, but it doesn't mean that the hairstyle cannot be used for either gender. Uh, again, it's one of the cool things about not just manga or anime, it's just flat out creating characters as a whole. Here we have the vintage spiky hair. And you kind of have this st part at the top of the head where the hair kind of goes in separate directions. So one go uh, one part of the hair starts pointing to the left and the other starts pointing to the opposite direction and they both they all come together in some way shape or form. Here we have uh, similar, you know, kind of similar to a bob, not exactly, but it's almost like the haircut is uh, very accurate at the edges, so it's, it's cut really neat. It's really simple. Again, most of these character designs, especially for the ones that are not debuted, are subject to change. Uh, one of the most, one of the more popular kind of hairstyles, popular in anything, is uh, the mohawk. But this is not the, a typical mohawk here. We have some kind of fluffy at the top. And a different color for the rest of the hair. Gave him a, made him a little, a little punky. 
fun thing is some of these characters that actually don't debut until like I don't know a million chapters later. But uh, here we have the main character of my comic, Apple Black uh, Sano, and basic black hair, little uh, little spike at the top, but it falls down. And sometimes he kind of makes it a ponytail. Uh, sometimes I uh, allow the hair fall, just fall flat. Has a pattern on the side where it falls. More of the hair falls to the left of his face than the right, but they both fall on both, you know, on both ends. And voila! Twenty different hairstyles. Let me know if you like this video by uh, liking this video. Leave a comment on anything. Leave a comment on your favorite hairstyle that I drew. Leave a comment on your favorite hairstyle in any car, any any character on any, you know any manga out there. Um, just you know, just for knowing purposes, I guess. Uh, there are a lot of crazy designs out there, and I, you know, it'll be cool to check them out. So again, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, leave a comment. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, Apple Black is available to read. The first three chapters are free online, uh, and you can buy Volume One with the first nine chapters. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Again, hope you guys check out more, uh, more of my other videos. This is White Manga. And I'm out.